Wow, do you like it folks? I spread these myself. I'm not an expert at it, okay? I just started seriously doing this since a year ago, so criticism is welcome. But wait, what's going on here? Ladies and gentlemen, I am not much of a collector. I myself don't kill butterflies and moths. Not because I have moral objections against it, I actually support people who want their own personal bug collection. I think a lot of the things that we know and have learned about butterflies and moths are things that we know from insect collections. I think they are essential for entomology. I don't like commercial uh, collecting operations though, the people who go in the rainforest and greedily collect hundreds and hundreds of butterflies just for profit. I think that is a bit despicable if you ask me. But at the same time I am friends with some old-fashioned collectors including my good friend Glenn. You may have seen him on my channel before. He's the one who brought me to Uganda. Let me show you Glenn. Thanks for watching everyone. This is Bart Coppens and I was kindly here invited to the country of Uganda by my friend Glenn. Hi. Thank and my friend Glenn is somebody that has over the years collected many, many, many butterflies. But Glenn is becoming older and he has some serious health issues, including uh, being blind in one eye. And Glenn basically has a lot of butterflies and moths that he collected when he was younger, some of them 15, 10 years ago, over a decade ago. And he decided to collaborate with me. And I agreed to pin some of the specimens and to frame them for him. Which is what I'm doing and it gives me the opportunity to try out these new spreading boards. Now for the people who hate this, for the people who hate collecting butterflies and moths and framing and pinning and spreading them. I'm sorry but it's an essential part of entomology whether you like it or not. I do think that some of the outrage against it is ignorant. It really depends on how it's done and why. That being said, these butterflies, ladies and gentlemen, some people may be upset, but they were collected over 15 years ago when I was still in high school, you know, chasing after girls, getting drunk, being a stupid teenager. That's when these were collected in the rainforest. And since then they haven't had a good purpose. And since my friend is retired, essentially, He's a retired entomologist. He has, uh, he has no more use for so many of these butterflies. And actually when it comes to ethics, I do think it is the ethical thing to do. Because otherwise all of these butterflies would be wasted. If it wasn't for me using them right now, nobody else would be using them. They've been collected a long time ago and this is not something we can change, right? Basically, if it's already dead, you may as well use it. I'm not the one who collected them. But the, the truth is they were collected and now they are just sitting in storage. So I've decided to do a creative project with them. Love it or hate it, but I can easily justify it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some of them in frames and also talk about some of the new spreading boards that we have here today. Now guys, I have a bit of a collaboration right now with a company called Entomo Boxes. They make spreading boards that are in my opinion very affordable and very easy to use. Now you may criticize my technique here a little bit, but that's my fault because I'm just not super experienced with this stuff yet. I need to learn the ropes, so to speak, and I'm practicing. I'm not much of a collector. It's just that my collector friend from the United Kingdom asked me to help him with some of the spare butterflies that he has, that he has no use for. So I'm gonna do some creative stuff with them. Some people may not like it. I know this is against the nature of some of my content, but honestly, I don't think it is actually, I think. There's a lot of misconceptions about what I do and what I stand for. And actually I do think that stuff like this is very important. 
first thing that I'm going to do is display some of these amazing morpho butterfly specimens. Once again, guys, I didn't collect them, but my friend collected them and he has no more use for them. And I agree to collaborate with him, because otherwise I think it would be a waste. And let's be honest, it would be. There is a demand for these insects, people sell and trade them online. Now, to, turn, to collect insects, just to turn them into decoration for your living room. I do think that can be questionable, to be honest, but if there is a demand for this kind of stuff, you have to really think about its implications. Personally, I think that it would be more of a waste to not use specimens like this that have already been collected. It's better than taking new ones from the environment. Let's see how they turned out, guys. I just want to tell you, I am a novice at this, all right? So. This is, I just recently really started seriously doing this. I know there's people watching with a lot of experience who probably are laughing at my method. But I'm just trying my best here, all right? Let's see how this turns out. There we go. These have been drying for a while. Wow. Not bad. So to this frame I have decided to add not one but three species of morpho butterfly and they are absolutely gorgeous. Honestly my dream is to see them in the wild one day. And not exactly in this place. Some of them are a bit old and tattered but that's just the condition they were in when they were caught. I managed to preserve them pretty well to be honest. Especially this one looking quite perfect so on my channel I research butterflies and moths and their conservation we've discovered many new things to science on this channel but sometimes I do things unrelated to that little hobby fun projects like this and I do collaborate with serious entomologists and collectors sometimes Even though I study the life cycles mostly of butterflies and moths, you know, their ecology. I don't have an insect collection myself, but I'm willing to help out a friend with his collection. It was probably a terrible idea to make this video outdoors while it's raining. But I want to show you guys how useful these padding boards are by Antomo boxes. They have stripes on them, as you can see, so you can keep the wings straight. Only issue is I really didn't care to do that. Yet. But I vowed to become more professional at this. But even for a beginner like me, these boards are very easy and convenient to use. So, there you go. This is like one of my first times doing this, guys. Well, that's not true, it's not one of my first times, but I've done it maybe a dozen times, which is nothing. Because I know some experienced people who have been doing this for 10 or 20 years and they can like perfectly set these butterflies and moths. I am definitely not at this level yet, guys. And that's because I'm more of a breeder. I usually don't bother with collecting and pinning and spreading it's usually not totally my thing but yeah <clears throat> over time I'll get better and better at it I hope to mostly pin butterflies and moths that I died from old age when I breed mine in captivity you know sometimes they die in good condition but I guess my collector friend today just had, gave, had material for me to practice with and that's what I'm gonna do oops i think i just pulled one off too hard my skills definitely need improvement but for a newbie it's not too bad right i don't think so i'm happy with myself even if the result is not perfect if you are a breeder of butterflies and moth guys and 
you want to trust, try the various sizes of spreading boards from the company Antelmo boxes. I recommend checking out their website, I am even in touch with them. And they given me a discount code. And if you order these spreading boards using my code, you can get 20% off. I think that's generous, you know, you're saving a fifth of your money of what it would usually typically cost if you are using my discount code. It's my first time working together with a company that makes entomological equipment like this. I rarely get the case to test it out, but today was really a special scenario, I suppose, you know. This is an unusual scenario. That doesn't typically happen on my channel. Not bad for a newbie, is it? This newbie needs practice, but he's doing his best. I'm very experienced with breeding butterflies and moths, but with this stuff I'm just such so much of a noob. I am kind of new to this, but the results are not bad. If you are interested in some of these frames, please check out my Etsy shop. You can own butterflies and moths that are personally farmed or reared by me. Or specimens from my retired insect collecting friend. Well folks, it's several months later now. We are in spring instead of winter. I'm glad spring is here. And I'm happy with the results. Now I want to say guys, I'm a novice at pinning butterflies as moths. I'm somebody who breeds butterflies and moths. I don't really collect or pin them that often. But something that has really helped me. Now guys, something that has really helped me pinning butterflies and moths is the very affordable pinning boards from Entomo boxes. Let me show them to you. Now I was sent these pinning boards many many months ago I was asked to review them and talk about them unfortunately it took me many months to make this video because I was planning a trip to Uganda it took me many months to save enough money to travel as working full-time and then I did a two-month trip so I apologize for making you wait but I promise I am going to advertise these spreading boards in several of my videos this is not the only video in which I'm going to show you the Antomo boxes, spreading boards. In my future content I will also advertise them. Now with these new Antomo boxes, spreading boards, I am going to practice my skills. Oh look, that's me. Haha, <laughs> in the reflection. I'm going to practice my pinning skills on the butterflies and moths that I have that died of old age. If you guys are interested in obtaining some of them, check out my Etsy, but also check out the Antomo Boxes website. If you want to get started just like me, pinning these insects when they died of old age, just to frame them for friends or relatives, there are some really affordable spreading boards that you can use for yourself. I really recommend that you check out the website, I'll put all the info out there. Thank you for watching my channel, this was a bit of an unusual video. Usually my videos are about live insects, not dead insects, not about collecting them. But sometimes there's a bit of an exception because I like variety and I just like to show off the things that I'm doing. And uh, yeah, I'm launching a new Etsy web shop. I invested a lot in it, um, have people collaborating with me. I want the insects to be either um, sustainably bred in captivity through captive breeding programs. Either that or they will be from retired insect collections, collectors that want to collaborate with me personally. And I am happy to get rid of their old unused collection. This is a moth I recently raised myself. I framed them. This is a very rare one. So it helps my fans and viewers obtain rare and exclusive material. And thank you for watching. There you go. Very nice spinning boards as you can see very good option check out their website and Christian I hope I didn't keep you waiting for too long to make this video I promise in future videos I'm going to show off your boards even more thank you all see you in the next one there's good stuff coming up